Thank you. Week two of our five week racing block. We are in Andorra racing around 2,000 meters this week. So quite a bit of altitude. Into the first wood slash bottleneck of the lap we go. This is where the start. Oh, oh bumpy, bumpy. Yeah, so it's pretty off camber. It's so dry here. Ooh, that's good. How about this one? Eh, not bad. One of the most natural and definitely one of the hardest. Top of the first climb. <sighs> Out of breath already. All right, quite a few technical section in here. Kind of back to back. I'm gonna give Gunnar a little bit of a gap because I don't know the course super well yet. This is like a little bit of a new section. Back into stuff we sort of know. Lots and lots of sharp rocks here. Just want to carry some good speed out of here. Yes, into the main descent. Super, super steep. All right, let's try the outside. Oh, it's loose. Yeah, inside's better. I need that already. But, all right. Now we go down. Super, super steep. Always on the brakes. If you're further than like, I'd say second, like you can't see anything. With all the dust and everything kicking up. Two lines left is like clearly better here. I think, in my opinion. All right, we were thinking about doing that. It's pretty bad. And, oh, this is, this is Andorra. Absolutely, insanely steep, straight line right in the sun this is why we love it here <laughs> no you i have a <laughs> seat interestingly i do like it here but it's not because of that it's because of the, the raw technical all right this is 20 percent basically going as slow as possible and it is hard really hard the secret on that climb is to not overcook the steep part because the top is flatter, that's where you make the pass. And like, by flatter, I mean it's 10% 10, 10 right now. And the top here is like 15, but it's flatter than 20. Made it to the top. So most of the climbing is done right now just got like a few little kickers in the new section outside to yeah, go around the multiple breaking bumps it is so loose and off camber you we into the feed zone Right. So you grab a bottle here, you have about two seconds to drink, and then BAM! Big climb! Oh, it is, once again, really, really steep. Alright, bunch of corners, just gonna, trying to carry speed, but you're going to get pretty chewed up in the next few days. Oh yeah, this little hop over the roots. Keep the straight line going. All right, we got this bridge. Those mat that they put down. On the way down, they feel so weird. Yeah, they feel like you got double flat. Yeah. And it's like, just weirds and no control over them. So this is a new section. 
it was built like maybe Monday. <laughs> so it's still super raw and not much riding has been done on it. So it should evolve during the week. This one's off camber and goes back up. Yeah, and side is not the one. I'd say this is probably the hardest part of the new section. It's like a rock stuff. This line over a big rock. I still don't have the balls to do it. Mark is doing it. And as you can see, he's quite a bit ahead of us. This, I don't understand. That double, they put a bunch of stuff there. Definitely not fun to ride, but hey, it's a challenge, you know? Makes it interesting for, oh, okay, survive. Now, we are gonna go across the bridge again. Down to the weird stuff and, you know, do a lot of the pump track because I guess it looks good. I don't know. No one really likes doing that, but, you know. Pump track, Whew. inside. Exit speed. Zoom, zoom. All right. And back on the old course. From here, it is the same finish. Down to the woods. Off camera. All right, see, I could not see anything. The sun and dust, terrible. My throat is so dry. Yeah. I'd love a sip of my eight, 80 degree water. <laughs> and this is it, one last bridge. And then we drop to the finish. And we are done with Hindora World Cup free ride. Oh, stairs, my worst enemy. 